Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Tales of Asperia. We are searching for the fourth Entelikea to turn into a spirit. You know, murder them and make them better. Uh, did I look up this way? I did, and I got that item. Okay. I'm gonna ignore that guy since I don't need to fight him. And go down this way. I can't go that way because of that bush. Can't get that. Man, there's going to be a lot of items to pick up eventually. Oh, hey, there's another save point down here. Well, that's kind of handy, actually. It's not a healing save point, but luckily I didn't get into any fights on the way down. Okay, so this is the fight that I thought I was getting, getting into. The foe is weak to earth and dark. Um, Carol might be okay for this one. We could steal Red Sage, don't really care. Okay, um, let's see, Earth and Dark, so I'm going to want Thunder Moon removed. There's no attributes on this. Do I have anything that does Dark? Death Scythe, it's not too bad on the physical attack, so let's go with, uh, let's go with that. Uh, we're gonna need to take away Thunder Moon. So I'm gonna put Rising Luna Rondo there, and... Moonlight Knife there. Yeah, that's fine. Let's turn everything on for now. Okay, lightning wave. Turn that off. Actually, let's check your weapon first. Uh, Mjolnir, we do not want that. We want the spinning drill hammer. One of two. Oh! You can get that information. Well, shucks. Okay. <laughs> Just... Didn't notice that before. Guess that's okay. Want that off. Uh, we want that off. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Actually, you know what? Let's turn everything off that isn't, uh... Earth. Deathquake Spark. Do I have, uh, Athenor on you? I do. All right. Okay, all of these are off. That's fine. Um, although weapon...
can go with the Dark Avenger, which is dark. There we go. So we want that off. Revive is fine. That is fine. That is fine. Grand Chariot is off. Uh, we want that off. Air Divide is okay. We want that off. We can turn on a lot of these. Not Pow Hammer. Okay. And finally, Rita. Want that off, but uh, you are currently equipped with something that I need to change. Death Contrast. I don't think we're going to have a dark thing for you. You know, Death Contrast to 2A. That is dark. Okay. That's fine. Alright, we can leave all of these on. Leave that off. Fireball off. These are off. Stone Blast is fine. Spread Zero is okay. I guess I'll turn that on. Stalagmite is okay. Negative Gate is okay. Violent Pain is okay. Blade Roll is okay. Ground Dasher is okay. Ivy Rush. Turn off Eruption. Demon's Lance. Bloody Howling. Turn off those two. Turn off Riot Horn. All right. Save again. Alright, so we need to strike while she recovers from an earthquake attack. Ooh, it's green. I like it green. It's pretty impressive, I guess. So this is the oldest spring in the world. Ha how does anyone know that? And how has it not, like, been changed by tectonic motion? It's so quiet. The air is so clear. It feels holy. I don't know. I hear some background music. Never would have thought a place like this was at the bottom of the mountain. I feel so at ease. This isn't really a good time to kick back and relax, but it is so peaceful. I mean, we could. Watch it. That's air, not water. It's really dense. You shouldn't go near it. So it's not really a spring, then. You came. Hey, that's... Oh. Hi. We met you at the castle, didn't we? Chroma, was it? Is she really an Entelikea? It doesn't look like you're trying to avenge Alexei. Duke didn't listen to you, did he? He's trying to protect the world in his own way. So what is Duke trying to do? He's trying to exchange the lives of humans to protect the world. Yeah, that seems bad. What? Why would Duke do something like that? He doesn't trust humans. But Duke helped us! He even lent us his beloved blade! I assume he saw some of himself in you. Or perhaps he thought he wouldn't have to get his hands dirty as long as you were around. What are you... We're, we're still around, though. Why are you telling us about Duke? I think it's time you showed who you really are, Antilochea. Huh? Yeah, come on, it was obvious. What do you want? Is this just a roundabout way of saying you're not going to help? I too cannot trust humans. But neither do I want to see him take revenge on his own kind. 
so why do you not trust humans? I mean, like, obviously there's a lot of bad things, but, you know, it seems like a lot of these problems could be solved by talking. If you can truly save the world, then I will not refuse to help. I mean, considering how many, uh, humans have no idea that you even exist. However, you have chosen a different path. You will likely confront each other. Yeah, probably. Yeah, we'll maybe. Kick if he is beyond your power, then nothing in this world can stop him. I will test your strength. Okay. Here she comes. Alrighty. Alright, Chroma Dragon. Let's go ahead and magic lens her. So, yes, resistance to fire, wind, and light. Weak to earth and dark. Uh, no effect from water, but there's really no point in using water in such a case. Uh, almost 400,000 hit points. Lots and lots of TP. Yeah, especially that hammer. Ow. I should probably have said that. Wow. This is my wage. All right. Let me uh let me fix uh some people up a little bit. Will you win or will I? Nothing more than that. Come. We might look weak, but fate is Are you It's on our side. Ah. Oh. You interrupted my life bottle. Ow. Oh, wow. That brought them both back. Thank you. Oh, goody. Ow. I mean, she hasn't done an earthquake attack yet, but... Oh, okay. I guess that's it. That worked. Oh my lord. Um. Life bottle. Yeah, sorry. Can't. <laughs> Can't right now. Okay, uh, let's see, 30% of max hit points for all party members, there we go. I d already brought... Ow! the heck did you just learn? Holy Lance. Uh, run an enemy through with a divine spear. Yep, turn that off. Ow! Now your clothes are. That's what you're concerned about, Rita. Really? What are we looking 
that. 174,000 hit points left still. And Moonlit Knife does a lot of damage. I like that. Ow! Oh goody, there's an overlimit. This is uh, definitely not the relative ease of the uh, other fights that we've uh, had recently. Why are you doing Hellfire Breath? I forgot to turn that one off. Dang it! Always with the overlimit. Always with that whirlwind. Well. You were watching over everything. I'm sure your wish will be. <sighs> Secret mission 22 complete. Let's cook. Rainbow Lens and a Hunter's Monocle. The Hunter's Monocle is the secret mission drop. Ooh, that's nice. I'll take a level. I'll take a level. Stat boost. <laughs> Levels for almost everyone. Marvelous. Perhaps you all can, indeed, save the world. So, you, you wanted to, like, you know, just rip our faces off as you uh, uh, became a spirit, huh? Really? You had to do it that way? Chroma. <laughs> do as you wish. Well, ah, time for some extra crispy chicken. Estelle, come on. Judith? So does this mean that there are only two Entelikea left? Or are there more Entelikea right. that we don't know about? Do it. And can we make more spirits if we get the other uh, Apatheia? Stupid whirlwind. It worked! She's sleeping. It's the same as with Gnome. Oh. A new comrade has been born. Gnome is apparently awake now. One who controls the winds. At times calm, at times violent. Why are two of them very human-like? One of them is an animal. And thank you for uh, letting us see his butt. And then the other is, well, a thing. She is not taken by air, as was known. She should wake before long. Thank you, Undine. Oh, Gnome Chroma didn't did get to say speak. she wanted us to stop Duke. It seemed like Chroma knew a lot about Duke. Indeed. Maybe we can ask her more when she's awake. Poker. Poker. Wakey, wakey, sleepyhead. Let's head back for now. Right. We don't have time to just hang around here. I mean, we kind of do. Oh, 
Not that path again. These old bones of mine are tired. Oh, poor, poor raven. All right, but before we leave, let's see if there's anything further in. There is. Monies! In the grand scheme of it, not much monies, but still, monies nonetheless. Alright, let's see. What does that uh, item do? Hunter's Monocle. A monocle infused with search magic drastically increases item drop rate. Well... Well... I think that we are going to be giving that to you, Raven. Also, items to equip. Get back onto the Forte staff. You're okay there. You're okay there. All right. Now the big question is, have all of the monsters returned? Yep, they have. Let's get back onto Thunder Moon. Oh, I should change the uh, party again. Alright, Tortle. Eliminate you next. Hey, you got both of them. Got the wrong one, but I got one of them, and that's good. Hey, you learned something. Crimson Flare. Well, that seems rather powerful. parties again. I don't want you guys using uh, items, but go nuts with the uh, TP. I mean, we are going to be getting to the, uh... We are going to be getting to the healing save point pretty soon. I wish there was a, a little bit more variance, like, say, you know, uh, go nuts with TP, but don't use items. care if people are using up their TP at the moment. And there's enough items and stuff around to uh, take care of that. 
All right, Rapide, get back in, and Raven, get back in. Luckily, I don't have to bother with you. Come on. Ah. I don't think there was any way around this guy. Probably why there's only one, though. Twenty-two hits, nice. I still have no idea how I got to the uh, like my max hits of thirty-eight right now. That's okay. I don't. I don't really want to fight you. They don't even know what happened. <sighs> Finally. Halfway up. If the air were a little more stable, I could get Baul down here. Speaking of, what is that on your butt? This is what it means to become a spirit. She still has the uh, different streak, different color streak in her hair. Oh, to think of all the things that were hidden from me. I think her eyes stayed the same color too. Good morning, lass. Guess she's awake. Um. So, would you still prefer to be called Chroma? No, I am no longer the Antilochia known as Chroma. You should give me a new name. Chroma Key. Well, how about Sylph? It means the Binder of Winds. I don't think it means that. Sylph. Very well. That shall be my name. Okay, Sylph. Nice to meet you again. A pleasure to meet you, too. Sylph, would you tell us why Duke hates humans? Very well. You know about the Great War, right? Yeah, vaguely. There were Intelikea who chose to live with humans, and those who chose to oppose them. Were you one that chose to live with humans? The Great War was between humans who broke an ancient prohibition and the Intelikea who opposed them. And the war ended when the hero Duke won victory for the humans. That's news to me. Duke's a hero? Really? That's one of the truths the Empire's hiding. They glossed over it by spreading convenient little lies. It was simple but efficient. Patty? Humans alone could not have won that war. Elucifer, the leader of the Antilochia advocating living with humans, fought alongside them and granted them victory. Are you serious? Even I never heard that. But... What does this have to do with Duke not trusting humans? Elucifer was Duke's friend. Duke fought with Elucifer against the leader of the ones who opposed humans and defeated him. Who was the leader of the ones who opposed humans? However, once the war ended, the Empire feared Elucifer's power. They assaulted the injured Elucifer and took his life. He had promised Duke that he would merely watch, but it didn't matter. No. Now I get it. Anyone would stop trusting humans after that. I don't know about anyone. I mean, stop trusting the Empire, maybe, but stop trusting humanity as a whole? I had no idea that was going on during the war. It must have been so hard on Duke. But it doesn't matter how badly he was betrayed. He has no right to sacrifice every human life. If you do not destroy the Adafagos before Duke, in the end, humanity will be destroyed. Hurry. I have calmed the winds. I believe Baul can reach you now. Can we do this more often? Seriously, what is on her butt? Thank you, Sylph. So the spirits are working out all right, but... Duke isn't. Yeah. Call Baul and exit this place? Sure. I wanted to hit the healing save point, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll survive. We managed to get the four elemental spirits. Yeah, but what about light and dark? Yeah. Now. We have to convert the world's Blastia cores to spirits. Right. 
If we could control the Artifagos with just those four, then we wouldn't need the others. That thing is not exactly something you want to take on lightly. We better make damn sure we're set. There's no second chance. Well, I mean, there is with the power of save load. I know, I know. Just by creating the spirits, we've already changed Terka Lumerains. Even if it is to save the world, we've been making these decisions all on our own. Now we're changing the lives of everyone in the world. That can't be just our decision. Let's hold a vote. Yeah, you're right. If we can't get them to understand what we're trying to do, we're just as bad as Alexei. But we don't have time. But we can still talk to the Imperial Knights and the Guilds, right? But if they don't approve of how we're doing things... Eh, we can do, always do it anyway. We will become the great evil. And... It, uh, you, will be can you will become the opponent, not the great evil. I can't stand by and watch the world be destroyed. Even if Duke manages to save the world his way, it doesn't mean anything if there's no one left to live in it. So I don't care if people call me evil. Monsters would be around. I will give up the Blastia to defeat the Autophagos. What are you going to do? If you want to get off, now's the time. I'm going. My life belongs to brave Vesperia anyway. Me too. Pharaoh and Bellius left it to us. And I don't like leaving things half finished. I know what it feels like to regret what you didn't do. If I stop now, I'll really regret it. You you really know what it's like to regret something you didn't do? Yeah, me too. I don't want to feel like that. No matter what path I choose, I can take whatever happens. I've learned that on this journey. And the people of the world will understand. They're strong enough to take a changing world. Yeah. We do this today so we can laugh tomorrow. You guys That's didn't ask believe. Patty or Repeat. Okay. Repeat has voiced his opinion. What are you going to do, Patty? Ah, there we go. It's obvious, isn't it? I'm coming too. <laughs> All right, everyone. Together until the end. So let's get ready and then go talk to His Majesty Yoder and the people in the Union. So, what exactly do you need to get ready? Leave it to me. I want to stop by a city somewhere. I need to pick up some stuff. Any city? How about Port Nor? It's at the edge of Elikia. Why does it matter? I want to find out what's happened at Emmied Hill since the road was blocked too. Let's go. <laughs> Why? It's like <laughs> we we kind of have a little, you know, more important things to do. I I think the game is kind of telling us by the way, there are important things that will happen to advance the storyline, and you'll need to go to these places. <laughs> well, whatever. What Sylph said. Are you angry, Yuri? Yeah, a little. Is it about the events of Duke's past that Sylph shared with us? So basically, Duke's doing what he's doing to clean up the mess made by an idiot. The whole thing is just so stupid. Even though Duke and Elucifer were both fighting for humanity's sake, it's so sad. Like the hero who shines so bright that people couldn't look at him and got scared. The overwhelming power caused people to fear him. It's all so stupid. I mean, it's not people, it's the Imperial Administration, like the people in charge. I mean, obviously every single person in the Empire had no idea this was going on. Raven didn't even know what was going on. Whatever. Anyway. Um, do, do, do. So apparently Estelle has uh, a new mystic art that she could do. Not that I've done any of those. Um, and I probably won't, since I haven't even figured out exactly how to do the, uh, uh burst arts. But, um, eh, you know. Anyway, we have, uh, side quests to do now. So, that's what we're going to be doing once I save it. See you next time, everyone.